Okay, for my last video of this series, I couldn't really come to any conclusion about what deck I should play with the current amount of testing that I have. So instead, I'm just going to play Boros uh, in hopes that I can at least eliminate that from contention. Uh, and that shouldn't be too hard, uh, hopefully. <laughs> Who knows, it could be insane. And as I said uh, way back at the beginning, uh, I do think that my version of Boros is quite a bit better than uh, the other ones that are floating around. Okay, so... And playing against this deck, I don't know if it really helps me or not, because it's really not a very good deck, and I'm pretty sure not many people will play it, but... I don't know. I can at least, uh... At least figure out how good Boros is. A bit. Um... So I have I have options here. Noble is pretty bad in this matchup, uh, but it does at least put him on defense possibly. Um, but I could just play Thalia and that stops him from attacking and makes his spells worse. Mm, let's see, do I even do I plan on playing Brimstone Volley? Like this guy could actually be a, pose a problem. Uh, so maybe I should not play Thalia so that I can volley that. And I suppose I could also volley just whatever blocker he has, if that uh, is applicable. And that would actually get Noble through. That's that's all good. So yeah, I'll go with this play. Yeah, Thalia really shines in uh, in different matchups. But she's just all around good, because 2-1 first strike is actually just fine. And she, some, she sometimes hinders you, but it's really not as big of a problem in this deck, usually. Like, uh, I guess we're not main decking pillars. That's That would really help us in this matchup. Alright, looks like we lost this one. <laughs> uh, you know, turn 3, 5-5 five, five demon. Uh, that's hard to beat. It can be done. Mm, how do I plan on winning this? I don't think I can let this guy live, so I'm going to probably volley it on his turn. Uh, taking 5. I then have to try and race a demon, which is possible with Hellrider, uh, but we're not quite there. Butcher Ghoul. Interesting card. Okay, maybe I won't have to Brimstone the, the High Priest. Uh, I, I mean, I definitely... I can brimstone this if I, uh, if I'm in the correct situation. Although, oh yeah, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Cause then he just makes a new demon. Like, yeah, playing these pre-combat probably didn't help him here. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I have to kill the high priest, I guess. Then after that, I can either take nine, go to nine, or I can block here. Yeah, uh, better go to 9. I think... Yeah, I can't race. At this point, I cannot race. So, my game plan is to kill the demon. So I gotta keep my guy alive to block next turn. Even if I kill Demon now, I'm, I'm just dead. Alright, I'll just concede. So that was a bit of a blowout, thanks to High Priest. Um, I don't know, I guess I could have... I should have played to my to my out in Bonfire. Not used to playing with that, but yeah, that's, that's always an out, usually, in a situation like that. Alright, though, we're gonna bring in these... cut. I think we're going to cut Noble. It's just really bad. Uh, let's see. Hellrider is, is not too exciting. It's definitely worse than the Riders of Gavany. And maybe a Faith Shield. 
it's kind of hard to leave open a mana when you're playing like something like Fiend Hunter or Riders. Those are usually the cards you want to protect. So maybe just bring in Thalia. Like it does block pretty much all of his ground guys, which is which is all of his guys, I guess, just not the demon. So yeah, that's a good card. All right, we'll do that. And that's okay. Yeah, I could have probably brought in Faith Shield. Actually, being on the play, though, a lot of things are are better on the play. Like, the Noble is actually okay on the play. But I can't leave in only one or a copy of that. So I need to draw non-lands for the for the rest of this game, preferably. But uh, bonfire is also live uh, at every turn of this game now. Okay, not bad at all. Gonna be having some pro zombies pretty soon. Uh, the unholy fiend though won't have protection. Yeah, it's kind of funny. This uh, in testing for the PT, there was multiple reasons this card actually wasn't in our Boros list. Um, it just—it's funny how it has anti-synergy with uh, the other white cards. With with this one, with uh, Angel of Jubilation. Um, but it is, it is good with Silverblade Paladin, so, um, so this is kind of, like, I still have to attack with this, because I, mean, I can't block with it, I can't, uh, can't risk him having a removal spell, and this is good enough by itself, if he doesn't have a removal spell. That's really what I'm hoping for, because as long as he doesn't ha doesn't have a removal spell, I think this game is in the bag. Noble? Hmm. That's an interesting one. It's not quite a blood artist. Um, hmm. So the fiend, the unholy fiend, rather, is gonna get blocked by messenger. Do I just take that trade? It's really bad. Yeah, I probably don't, don't do that. Um, I'll have to keep taking one damage. But I am going to volley this bad boy. Yeah, at this point, it's definitely the best card that would, uh, for me to kill. Slightly better version of that card. So now I can't attack with Fiend Hunter. Oh, I could draw a Fiend Hunter. That's that's nice. Um, let's see, what do I want to exile? I want to exile. Blood Artist. Let's see, let me let me think of this through. If you played Noble, the turn before you played these. That means he either he would have had to draw this because logically, well, I guess if he didn't have both these, then this is the better play. But if he has a removal spell, then this is the card he's going to play. And also, if he had a removal spell, he'd play it before he played Noble. So basically, I'm trying to deduce that he doesn't have a removal spell. Um, so that that way, I don't have to kill this guy. So I kill the Blood Artist. 
Well, I don't. Does that even really matter? Blood artist doesn't really matter. I'll just kill the. Yeah, I'm gonna kill the high priest. Blood artist isn't doing anything right now. The noble was a little different because it had power and toughness. And uh, I suppose it really the ability wasn't really active, was it? Maybe I overestimated how important it was to to kill that. Although I suppose if he has something like Killing Wave, I'm dead. That would be that'd be that's an interesting card actually, because that's a card he could could have always had that card, and for me to play around it, I have to exile Blood Priest, but I'm, or Blood Artist, but I'm probably dying anyway if he had that. Or there's always Connoisseur. Two, four, six, that's six damage that I'm counting. Not quite enough. Seven damage. Still not, not quite there. And it looks like he did have a removal spell, it just wasn't, it wasn't a good one. Couldn't kill anything that I had in play. Alright, Pillar will probably end this game if it wasn't already over. So he has two blockers for my humans. Oh, maybe... Oh uh, yeah, that, uh, that's actually not bad. I don't know, maybe I can't win yet. I have to Pillar the Blood Artist, which in response he will sack, sack, uh... So I'll have a 3-3. Three, three. And I'll lose 2 life. Th this will be tapped if he does that, though. So I get to attack with this. Yeah, well, that's definitely what I'm doing. That's the only play I can make here. So we'll just see what happens. See if I can attack. Man, Riders of Gavney is a really sweet card. But it kind of does make me wish this was a human. Is there any other applicable two drop? I mean, I do have I have Thalia's. I could go another Thalia, but I don't know. Yeah, I could do that. I like Thalia enough that I could probably do that. Okay, he did exactly as I expected. Um, So, let's see, if I attack to the riders, he'd probably block and sack this. And that's not what I want to have happen here. Um, and then with the Unholy Fiends, it's like to block this here, block this there. So this guy's the card I have to deal with. Yeah, I have to have a blocker for that, so I can't really attack. Can't attack with anything. So, yeah, I'm actually very close to dead here. If that isn't obvious. I mean, I, st I definitely have to play that, though, in that situation. Ha, huh, I happen to have a black creature. Ah, oh, man. What do I need? I need another Riders. No, that wouldn't win me the game yet. I need a bonfire. Definitely could use a bonfire. Am I actually dead on board? Yeah, I am. Oh well, that was a close game. So I kept a four lander. I drew a lot. I drew a good amount of spells before I started drawing lands. So it was close. I guess I, if I held my land here. I guess I could bluff something. But when when you have bonfire in your deck, it's usually correct to play all your lands. I just uh, didn't really notice I was dead on board. I mean, he has to notice it too, and apparently he didn't. So is this enough for me to put down Boros? I don't think so. It actually seems pretty sweet. I mean, and this, like I said, this game, this uh, specific matchup is not particularly relevant. 
Okay, um... So I can get Pro, the Connoisseur, Attacker 3... I could actually win this now. He's actually currently dead. He has to top deck. And uh, if I win this game, then we get to play game three. <laughs> or else is kind of fun. Kind of fun. It would be... It sure would be a whole lot easier just to play Boros. No, I think I think the format will still be hostile enough towards it that I uh, that it's not good enough. Uh, does he have a trick up his sleeve or what? I'm either dead or I'm not. Any removal spell already killed me. Any thing else? I guess a uh, tragic slip. Yeah, that that would kill. Me. Or no, no, would that kill me? Tragic slip would be a little different. I think I would still be dead. He all has to do is sack this guy, bring it back, and then kill this, and then I die next turn, unless I draw a bonfire. Okay, um, so I think everything pretty much stays the same here. Yeah, uh, I, I think I want the Faith Shield this time. Cloistered Youth is actually pretty good. It just, that game wasn't as good. Hmm. Hmm. Gather is also fine. Maybe... Yeah, I'll go with Cloistered Youth. It's, it's not that good. It's not good enough to leave in all three if I if I need the room. Alright. Um, looks fine. So we're gonna probably gather, for sure gather, if the champion is alive. Ooh. Um, hmm. That's interesting. Considering his slow start, I actually approve of this. Cause it's also very possible he has a removal spell. And uh, this plays around removal spell and takes advantage of his uh, quote slow start. to draw land, but another gather is also pretty potent. Yeah, and we're just, we're just racing for sure. I mean, we have another gather and then a faith shield. If we get down to five, uh, we can't really lose. If we get down to five and don't die, that is. That deck definitely has potential to deal a good amount of damage. Okay, he's gonna he's going on defense. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna trade here. These guys aren't really doing any work. Uh, uh that's awkward. Looks like cloistered youth time.
Is that gonna be another messenger? Let's see. Oh, connoisseur, okay. It's not quite as good as it was last game. Not what I expected him to do. Expected him to trade. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't really know what his game plan is. His game plan is to draw a victim and I or a tragic slip. So I guess he's really just stalling until then. Yeah, I don't know if leaving the fiend alive is correct. I don't think it is. I guess he would have had to take a lot of damage. Or he would have had to jump block. Dead weights. Alright. Sure. <laughs> uh, and he's actually dead. Let's get this pro black, and he dies. So that's a pretty good two lander. Never draw another land. Just uh just annihilate him. And drawing any land would have just been amazing for Paladin. And then bonfires in the future. Alright, so even with that single match. Boros is still on the table, I think. But I'm probably going to have to make sacrifices here because I just don't have time to test everything. So I'm probably not going to consider Boros any longer. But yeah, um, so I guess my purpose of this was to at least show you uh, what I do to uh, to get to a deck. Like normally, normally I have way less decks than this. Like it's like I play, I make a deck... I play it for a couple matches, I realize I don't like it at all, move on to the next one. Uh, I, I play these in dailies as well, I, I definitely much prefer to play them in dailies uh, before I played them in a real event. Um, but for this format there were actually a, quite a number of decks and I just have no experience with any uh, of them, um, well almost no experience. Like the PT was a little different. So there was a ton of ton of decks that I don't have experience with, a format that's completely new, and just not enough time. Like, the set has only been out for a couple of days. So, that's what happens, I guess. Um, so I'm going to move on to real-life testing, which I, I'll have a lot more time for uh, leading up to the GP. But I'm probably going to play something with Huntmaster and Noble, or not Noble, Aristocrat, or at least one of those cards. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.